Maurice Jones drew Ricky Romero and a first look at the Adidas Predator Lethal Zones, right now on the short stack. I'm Andrea Diebold. Jacksonville Jaguars running back Maurice Jones drew led the NFL in rushing last season, racking up over 1,600 yards. But when he first started playing football, he barely made the team, and it took plenty of hard work before making it into the backfield. Well, my freshman year, I, 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 was, on, uh, I was on JVs for the beginning, and uh, I wasn't good enough to make it, so they, they brought me back down to freshman. And I think my sophomore year was more of a just kind of swallowing all the defeat. You know, one game I started, first carry I fumbled, they sat me down. Then I didn't play, only played defense. And I just kind of just took it all in and used it as motivation to go out there and work harder the next year. I was just a hard worker, man. Just had to outrun everybody, be more conditioned than everybody, catch the ball better, tackle better, whatever I could to make the team. For more on the interview with Maurice Jones-Drew, head over to stack.com. Toronto Blue Jays pitcher Ricky Romero is an up-and-coming star in the big leagues after earning his first all-star bid last year. The lefty spent his off-season training at APLA to help elevate his game. Take a look. As a pitcher, your goal is to just, for me, is to, to get strong um, in every aspect of my body, upper body, lower body, core. And, um, you know, here at this performance, I think we focus on all of that. And uh, I love dumbbell benching. I love working on my legs and anything that has to do with my core. Like I said, it's all the three most important parts of your body and as a pitcher. And uh, um, I like lifting heavy in the off season so that it helps me uh, get that push to the beginning of the year and throughout the whole year. And then once the season starts, it's kind of more about maintaining and you kind of take a little step back and, and not lift as heavy. And I enjoy just working out, period. It doesn't really matter what it is, it's just everything. The new Adidas Predator Lethal Zone soccer cleats were just released and Stack had a chance to get an up-close look. The boot features individual zones specifically designed for different actions on the pitch. Take a look at how Adidas developed this revolutionary technology. My favorite thing about the new Predator is the fact that we're speaking towards the whole game now. So in the past where the Predator was speaking just towards power, and now we're speaking towards control. So it's not just about shooting, it's about long distance passing, short passing, trapping, you know, all aspects of the game. With speaking to players, we really got the insight that, okay, there are different types of kicks that they're doing, and we wanted to really focus on each one of these areas and give them the control instead of just one area. Players love the shoe. Uh, as soon as they put their foot into it, right out of the box, they can go and play with it. It's very, very comfortable, and uh, it has all the performance aspects that they need. Milwaukee Bucks point guard Brandon Jennings knows just how important building muscle is to success in the NBA. Stack spent some time with him at the Under Armour campus in Baltimore, where he showed us one variation of the push-up that he swears by. We call it the Army push-up. Army push-up is you start actually in um, pushed away from your hands with your hips in the air. And what we tell our athletes is imagine there's a barbed wire. And what you want to do is go down underneath it, tuck your head up on the other side, back down, up on the other side. What this does for, her, for Brandon, it's, it requires his shoulders to work through many planes. So it's not just like a push-up in one plane going up and down. He has to move forward and backwards. I think what the training I've been doing um, has helped me on the court a whole lot. I think just me being more feisty and also me um, just being more aggressive on the court, you know, looking for contact, taking on, you know, taking on the contact and also just finishing to the basket. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more videos of elite athletes, head over to stack.com. I'm Andrea Diebold and we'll see you next time.